Hi there, welcome back. I've been meaning to do a review of this LD day cream for so long. So here you are. This is the Lacura Caviar Day Cream um, with sun protection factor of 15 and that is UVA and UVB um, protection so it's broad screen. So you get 50 mils and it's a really nice looking pot. Nice to have on your dressing table. Um, it came with a film over it as well, which I keep putting back on. So you know that what you're getting is completely fresh and new. Now, I looked at the ingredients and all I could see was um, extract of caviar, hence the name caviar day cream, um, hyaluronic acid, which mimics um, collagen so it will plump out all those wrinkles, and snow algae, which is a known antioxidant. Couldn't find anything else in it that I, well, I couldn't see anything else listed. Um, I have heard on the grapevine from other therapists that it does, it's very, very similar to creme de la mer. Um, I would imagine um, creme de la mer, you would probably get a 15 mil pot for probably quadruple price. Who knows? Anyway, so I have been trying this out. Now you may think in the winter you don't need protection. Sorry, sun protection, but you do because um, when the sun's low or it's um, snowy, for instance, you get a reflection. Anyway, you're, you're still going to be receiving UVA, UVB rays from the sky. Um, from the sky, from the sun, no matter what. Um, if it's light out there, if it's morning, if it's afternoon, if it's light, you will get UVA and UVB rays on your skin. So you must at all times protect your skin. Sun damage is one of the main causes of fine lines and wrinkles, pigmentation, you know, the brown patches, uh, depletion of collagen. Basically, it's a real baddie and do all you can to protect your skin against the sun. Anyway, on with the cream. I really, really like the texture of this. I don't know if you can see on it. It's quite thick and you don't actually need too much of it. But it has got a really nice smell in so much that it doesn't smell very perfumed. It doesn't smell clinical. It just smells divine. Fresh. Yeah, it smells fresh, but it doesn't smell perfumey and it doesn't smell like it's highly fragranced and it's soaked really, really easily into my skin. I must admit, I wasn't sure when I saw the texture. I thought, oh, that looks a little bit thick. Um, that might leave my skin greasy. But what I would suggest is, obviously you use your serum first, whichever serum you're using, pop your cream on, and then wait 10 minutes before applying your primer or foundation, everything, just so the skin can thoroughly absorb it. I really like the texture, as I've said before. Um, it did absorb very easily into my skin within that 10 minutes, and my skin felt really moisturized all day. Um, 6 99 for 50 mils. What is not to like? This is a fabulous buy. And if I had, um, if I had to give it a rating out of 10, I would give it 10. That's how good I think this cream is. Um, I have, I must admit, I am a bit of a have been a bit of a snob with skincare in the past. I have bought high end. I've never bought Creme de la Mer, not that much high end, but I've used just about every other cream. Um, because I thought that um, the price point made it a better cream. What you have to remember is if you're buying a cream from Estee Lauder, Declare, whatever, you know, what you're paying isn't just for the ingredients in that pot. You are paying for the jar, the box, the marketing, the advertising, most of these high-end products have supermodels or celebrities endorsing it. So you're not actually getting that much for your money within the cream, if you if that makes sense. $6.99 for um, you know, $6.99 for the whole pot. You're not paying um, for a celebrity to endorse it. You're not paying for a supermodel to appear on Vogue, um, sorry, Glossy Vogue magazines, Marie Claire, Elle. 
you're paying for the product and I think this is money really well spent so I would urge people to give this a go if you don't like it don't throw it away pass it on to a friend or use it as a body lotion I never ever waste any face cream I will put it on my arms and my legs if it doesn't suit my face nothing in my house ever gets thrown away but do try it I've got to try the night cream. I can't get it in stock at the moment. It just always seems to be out of stock. But I'm really, really looking forward to trying it when I um, when I can find it in stock. Well, thank you for uh, watching. And I really hope that um, this has given you an honest review and has made you decide whether or not you would like to try it. Thank you for watching.